What up, y'all? It's KP, the sports chick. So, if you're a chick, I need you to do something for me, okay? And if you know a lot of ball players, do not put yourself in a position to where you your validity is questioned because you want to sue somebody off of a seemingly consensual experience, but now it seems like you're not. So, anyway, what am I talking about? Obviously, I'm talking about the Derrick Rose situation. The trial for uh, his alleg alleged sexual assault began on October 4th, and the, the case is already getting kind of ugly. So, or, or it's, 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 it's full of shenanigans, basically. Because Derrick Rose, who has been very graphic and upfront about his, his recollection of the story, basically is, you know, he said that he was, oh, you know, he thought it was a consensual relationship and what the crazy part is, is that the, the day in question, there's a deleted text from Jane Doe's uh, uh, text history that has some, you know, Google it. I cannot say it here, but it, it definitely suggests that she, is, she was not only consenting of maybe not specifically that situation, but a... a, um, a consensual sexual relationship together let's just put it that way but if you google um the dare Rose trial and everything that has to do with it as far as the testimony then you'll you'll see what i mean um dare Rose, what his recollection of, of the events in question have a lot to do with what happens in set situations with athletes who, who whether their agent throws a party whether they throw a party um, and I'm not being stereotypical here, but I mean, it does happen often enough to where there has to be um, workshops in the NBA on how to handle groupies, women. Um, so the craziest part about it is that these deleted texts are very, very indicative of a consensual relationship. And first of all, you deleted it, so that's one thing, but it, it, Jane Doe as a whole needs to get over the fact that she might not win this trial, just based off of the two days that I've heard. The stories are totally different. The way that, that again, Derrick Rose tells the story, look it up. It's very, and, and I'm going to be totally honest with you. I have had situations where I myself have been invited to these parties. Um, that I'm speaking of and there have been I've been forewarned or kind of explained what what the atmosphere will be like and at that point I'm like okay why well, pass I'm, I'm good I'm, I'm, I'm good but thank you though but if you're in a consensual relationship over a couple of years you know what you're walking into so my point is don't put yourself in a position where something like this will happen but as I'm starting to now see, I mean, just based off of what I'm hearing in, in court, it seems like she's not totally being honest and she's, it seems like she's withholding information, I mean, as evidenced in the, the uh, deleted text. And, you know, for, from what I've heard this so far, Derrick Rose ha has not been exposed in any other way than what's already out there before the trial. Um, he's just confirming what he's already said to be true. She, on the other hand, has stuff that she's hidden. And it's like, why put yourself in situations like, like that? Like where, where you may not be sure of what the outcome may be as far as, like this is a preventable situation. You can either go to the party or not go to the party. But you woke up that morning according to these texts that you can Google that she was ready to go. Let's just put it like that. So don't put yourself in a situation where you feel like you're going to end up suing somebody later on because of it. That's ridiculous. Like, I, you know what? I'm trying not to place a judgment on either side, but from right now, as it seems, she's not coming off too well. And all this crying and boo-hooing in court and, you know, Derrick Rose's attorneys asking the judge to order her not to cry, like foolery and shenanigans. So anyway, we're going to talk more about this, but I want to hear from you. What do you think of the case so far? Have you seen anything about it? Hit me up on kpthesportschick.com. That's my social hub for everything KP the Sports Chick related. And you can hit me up on YouTube as well at KP the Sports Chick and leave comments there. So check me out.